It's finally time for Plasma Blast pre-releases. We have three weekends, and so there's going to be events all over the place. A lot of the PTOs, the tournament organizers, have been taking advantage of that and filled up for every weekend. So I've been getting a lot of people asking, where can I find these events? And I get this question when uh, pretty much for every Pokemon event, not just pre-releases, battle roads, regional states. And so I've been meaning to do this for quite a while. But I'm going to do a walkthrough of the Pokemon website as far as how to get to the event locator and how to navigate it so that instead of asking me for help, you can find out the information on your own. So here we are at the Pokemon website. We're going to go ahead and we see this little menu up at the top. We're going to go to Trading Card Game. And I mean that should be pretty obvious. Right here on the side we've got lots of other fun links. Ready to play? Yes we are. So we're going to click on that. That takes us to the Play Pokemon website. Um, lots of cool stuff here, Play Pokemon news, stuff about the World Championships coming up. But we want this link right here on the right hand side, Play Pokemon, find an event near you. So we're going to click on that, and there's a few different ways that we can uh, do th run the event locator to find exactly what we want. We This first one is just the normal event locator. You can sort them by distance or event date, select trading card game video game, and uh, then select the type. So if you're looking for Pokemon Leagues, this is a great way to do it. What, uh, and then you can just type in uh, your address to, and then how far you're willing to drive to see if there's anything in your area. Now what I like to do is use the advanced tournament search, and that's the second little bar right here. Select your country. I am in North Carolina, so for since I'm looking at just pre-releases, I'm just going to be sticking to North Carolina, looking for the trading card game. So I'm going to uncheck video game. We are currently in the 2014 cycle, so I'm going to leave that there. And then we go to the Premier Event Series. Uh, in the little drop down, we've got three different options uh, the Video Game Regional Championships, the TCG Regional Championships, and the Plasma Blast pre releases. So, if I wanted to go to the Regional Championships, I would have left the state just blank, and that would have shown me the, the Regional Championships that they've listed so far uh, coming up in fall, I believe late October. So, I want Plasma Blast pre releases. You can change around the dates. Um, you know, if you're looking for a certain weekend, but I'm just going to go ahead and have them pull up everything. So, here are the uh, official ones that are listed on the site. So, this weekend, I've got one tomorrow in Kinston, one in Morrisville, next weekend, one in Cornelius, and then the weekend after that, one in High Point. Now, uh, my uh, PTO is actually having a few other ones, so I'm not sure why they're not listed on this site. Um, so that's always a good reason to get up with your uh, PTO, your Pokemon tournament organizer, or Premier tournament organizer, one of, one of the two. I think it's Premier. Uh, anyways, uh, get up with them, see if they have a website, a uh, Facebook page, something where, an uh, email list, something where you can, uh, can get a complete listing. But at least this gives you uh, a, a good idea of what events are in the area. And these are um, my PTO's main events. These are the ones that get the pretty much the biggest turnout. Um, so that's pretty much all for finding events. Um, you can click on them to get um, more information. So uh, I click on that and it's actually going to take me to directions. So always useful. And then if you click on the link to the left, it's going to give you more information about them when registration starts, when registration ends. So you have to be there in between those times to get there. The organizer name her phone number so you know how to contact her if you have any questions. Um, this is my tournament organizer's website, so another uh, little cool way to contact her. And then other information, so pre-releases right now are $30. They have jumped up from $25. Um, that's just a uh, ruling that TCPI did. And then some details about the event, um, things that Pretty much you'll need to know what you'll get for your $30. Uh, about, uh, let's see, I think, you know, what, uh, I don't think it says anything about the time frame, but usually this is a, you know, this registration is from 11 to 12, so it's going to take probably uh, the rest of the day. Um, you'll get out by dinner or so, uh, but certainly feel free to contact the event organizers if you have any questions that aren't here. So the other thing I'm going to talk about in this video is that is the set list. So uh, in the UK, the sampling packs were, I guess, released early, and they came with little checklists in them. So thanks to Pokebeach, 
we have a complete set list of everything that is in Plasma Blast, except for the Shinies. Uh, they never put those on the checklist, so we don't have official accounts of those, but this at least gives you an idea of what we're uh, getting. And uh, this is the equivalent of, Mega of Megalo Cannon. So if we click on that, we can see the cards and their translation, so you pretty much know what you're getting. Anything that's li otherwise listed is probably going to be a reprint. So you can obviously just go to Poke Beach, uh, copy and paste this list. There's also a uh, Google Docs, and I will have that link in the description below, where someone has been so nice to uh, actually type all this out into a nice printable worksheet, or printable format. Um, it is like five pages though, so uh, I'll, I would probably go try and go with something smaller. And my good friend, my Pokemon Collection 1, it, as always keeps me up to date on all the set lists as they're about to come out. And he has sent me um, his own list, which pretty much it's, you know, obviously 1 through 101 is the same. But he has uh, been pretty much spot on on his predictions for the Shinies on every single set. So uh, I'm just going to share them with you. You know, not 100%, not confirmed or anything, but he's pretty much always right. So uh, let's see how close he gets. He is guessing that we're going to get a shiny Execute, shiny Verizion, shiny Dusnor, and shiny Rare Candy. And he bases that off of the past Japanese sets and their patterns. And like I said, he's pretty much always right. So uh, that pretty much gives you all the information I think you need to know about pre-releases. Uh, another common question I get is, what do you bring? Obviously, your money, because you need to register. Your... Uh, pop ID number if you have one. If you don't have one, just talk to the tournament organizer and they'll get you signed up. Uh, if you want to trade at the end of the tournament, bring your trading your, your your cards. I like to bring sleeves to protect when I build my deck uh, so that I protect my brand new cards that I just pulled. If you have a play mat, bring that. If you have dice, bring dice. If you don't have dice, don't worry about it. Usually there's people to borrow from or you can always borrow from the organ uh, or the organizer. And that's uh, the main stuff you need to be bringing. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment, PM me, but hopefully this covered most of them. And good luck, everyone, over the next three weekends. I'm going to try and go to at least one, maybe two, so hopefully I'll have some videos for you. And hopefully we'll be pulling some great cards.